Hi, I'm Ellie, and this is your weekly theatre news recap. The show where I take all of the news, and I put it in one, and I throw it at you, and I say enjoy. Uh, it's still unedited. I'm sorry, still no laptop. Uh, yeah. So, what news happened in this week? Uh, yes, I'm going to tell you. Lots of casting news. Again, we seem to be in a period where we're getting a lot of casting news for upcoming shows, and we're seeing a lot of the cast chains coming of the big West End shows, so there's a lot of casting news. Uh, but if you want to stay up to date with uh, West End and UK touring theatre, I get a lot of Americans keeping up with West End theatre through this. I love you Americans. Shout out to the Americans! Shout out to the Americans! <laughs> but make sure you hit like and subscribe, uh, so you don't miss one of these recaps. Anyway, casting news. First off, uh, we're gonna head to the bridge, where the revival of Guys and Dolls is continuing to play like a hit. I still need to see it. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, we had the announcement this week, a little bit of a shock, that, uh, Daniel Mays, who is, uh, the current Nathan Detroit, will be taking a short break from the show, from the 17th of July to the 16th of October. And replacing him for this short little run will be Owen Arthur. Wow, I, I can speak. <laughs> Owen Arthur, uh, who was in One Man Two Governors, and he will be taking over the role of Nathan Detroit. Very exciting. I need to see it. I need to see it. I had tickets one day and I couldn't go because uh, I went to Newsies instead. <laughs> but I will. I will go. I will go. I will. I will see it. I promise. I promise. I promise. Uh, next up in casting, we have some very interesting casting from the Everybody Talking About Jamie tour. So we have three names here, and some of them are, are quite shocking. Uh, and I'm a bit like, oh, oh okay. Uh, first off, Cl Kevin Clifton. Uh, he does a lot of these tours, so I shouldn't be that surprised. He does a lot of, like, UK touring theatre. He's just done Strictly Ballroom, pretty sure. Stars Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, he will be playing Hugo and Loco Chanel from the 25th of March to the 15th of July. I don't necessarily know if this is the casting I would have expected for Kevin Clifton. But, but, you know, he's done a lot of musicals. I haven't seen him in anything. I don't think I've seen Kevin Clifton in anything. But I've heard good things. I've heard good things. So, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to give him a chance. And also, I want to... I can't wait to see him drag. Slay. <laughs> Slay! Uh, next up, uh, the winner of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Uh, just recently done 222. It is Giovanna Fletcher. And she will be playing Miss Hedge from the 8th of January to the 23rd of March 2024. If that name sounds slightly familiar, uh, Giovanna is married to Tom Fletcher, who is the brother of Carrie Hope Fletcher. And that's, that, that's how you know. Yes. <laughs> uh, very interesting. I didn't manage to catch her in 222. I haven't actually seen her act before. But Miss Hedge does feel like that type of role that I can see someone like Giovanna in, I think she could do well. I mean, if Michelle Visage can do it. <laughs> That's no shade to Michelle Visage. She is mother. She, she is mother. And after uh, Fletcher's run, Sam Bailey, who uh, is an X Factor winner, will be taking over the role of Miss Hedge from the 25th of March to the 15th of July. Some very interesting casting from Jamie has been coming out. I really want to see it on tour. Because I miss it. I miss that show so much. I wish they'd bring it back to the West End, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, I mean, they're getting a short run in, um... They're getting a short run somewhere. The Peacock. That's it. They're getting a short run in the Peacock Theatre. So, yes. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the Pretty Woman cast. I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. <laughs> let's move on to Pretty Woman. So, Pretty Woman's just finished its West End run at Savoy, and now it is going on its full UK tour. And we have the lead casting. Amber Davies will be playing Vivian Ward, and this inspired. Inspired. We know how fantastic Amber Davies is in musicals. She has proved it time and time again. Uh, she was fantastic in Back to the Future. She was brilliant in Bring It On. Come on. And I think that Vivian is such perfect casting for her. Brilliant. 
Uh, we also have Or Aduba, uh, who was recently in Rocky Horror, who will be playing Happy Man slash Mr. Thompson. Fun role, can't wait to see it. Uh, Oliver Saville will be playing Edward Lewis, great casting. And because they couldn't have just one six queen play this role, Natalie Paris will be coming over, back over, because she's in the US doing the six tour right now. Natalie Paris will be playing Kit DeLuca, the role that has just been played by Courtney Bowman. It's like they looked across the street from the Savoy and went, hmm, who do we cast as Kit DeLuca? And they saw six at the Vorville and just pointed it and went, that. <laughs> We also had the full uh, rest of the casting, which I'll link in the description, all of those lovely names. Normally I put them on screen, but I can't edit. So, <laughs> great casting, very excited. I'm hoping to catch this uh, on tour. I haven't actually seen the show yet. I did get invited, but I couldn't go on that date. And I was like, no. But yes, very exciting. We have initial casting as well for Elf. Elf is returning to the Dominion. Uh, this Christmas, because uh, the Dominion just went, what should we do for this year's season? And they went, last year's season. Uh, so it's coming back from the 15th of November till the 6th of January 2024. And we got the announcement of all the cast members who are appraising their roles, including Georgina Castle as Jovi, Rebecca Locke as Emily Hobbs, Nicholas Pound as Santa, Kim Ismay as Debs, Dermot Car Canavan, not Caravan, Canavan, as the store manager. We have uh, more casting to be announced, including new actors in the roles of Buddy and Walter, but this is very fun. We'd love to see it. Very slay, very slay, <laughs> very slay. Uh, it's nice to see uh, some of these returning names, hoping to catch Elf this year. I still haven't seen Elf either. I haven't seen Elf either. So I'm excited, very slay. We also got the full casting for the Little Big Things. We've had little little drip feeds of casting from uh, Little Big Things, uh, including uh, Lindsay Hatley and Alistair Harvey. But we now have uh, the full cast as well. And uh, their lovely names are these. These, I'm reading them. Uh, Jordan Benjamin, Rebecca Bowen, uh, Jamie Chatterton, Tom Olivia, Melinda Paris, uh, Cleve September, there's a name I know, it's Cleve September, I love him, Hamilton, Bonnie and Clyde, love Cleve September, uh, and Amy Trigg, and uh, we also have the full ensemble, whose names will be linked in the description, very exciting casting, um, I'm very interested in this musical, we keep being like drip fed little pieces of information, and every time I see one I'm like, ooh, 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 and then we also saw them at West End Live, and I was like, ooh, okay, okay, let's go, Okay, I'm ready. And honestly, look, I love to see a new British musical, new British musicals. Give me more new British musicals. I love them. Honestly, we seem to be in like a renaissance of new British musicals with Operation Mince Me, Ride, Benjamin Button. So I'm hoping that Lifts of Big Things can join that group and be magnificent. Uh, we also got the announcement of uh, the new cast of Jersey Boys, as well as an extension. The show is now booking to January 2024. And we now know the new cast members, including Peter Nash, who was recently in the Singing in the Rain UK tour, will be joining as Tommy. Um, Declan Egan will play Bob, uh, having previously played the role at the Piccadilly Theatre and on the UK tour. Uh, we also know that Luke Surrey will continue as Frankie Valley, and Carl James Wilson will be playing Nick Massey. Uh, we also have the rest of the cast, whose names are linked in the description. I still haven't seen Jersey Boys. This seems to be the common thread of shows that I should have seen, but I haven't seen. So I will hopefully go and see it. Yes, maybe. Question mark. Big question mark. Who's to say? I don't know. The audiences are pretty interesting there. <laughs> and the final in casting news this week. I told you that was a lot. We have the uh, 2023 to 2024 Phantom casting, the next bunch of people to join the cast of Phantom. And we now know that Lily Cahuas, 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 I'm pronouncing this so badly, I am so sorry. Uh, they will be joining the role as, they will be joining the cut. I'm so good at this. <laughs> Lily will be joining the cast as Christine Daae, with Joe Criffis-Brown as Raul, David Christopher-Brown, 
as Pianji and Maya Hisaka as Meg Geary. And at certain performances, the role of Christine Dyer will be played by Paige Blankston. Blankston. Not Blankston. God. I can't read. <laughs> anyway, this is very exciting. Uh, I'm hoping to catch Phantom again soon. Uh, love this. I need to see John Robbins as the Phantom. Phantom is camp, okay? Look, is Phantom my favourite show? No. But is Phantom high camp? Yes. When that fire lifts up, you're like... <laughs> when when that chandelier starts rising and it's like... Dun, 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 dun. It's camp. It's slay. And I love it. <laughs> Anyway, now moving on, uh, we have some new shows announced. Uh, we have a new play called Backstairs Billy heading to uh, the West End. And this is being marketed as a big return of Luke Evans, who was uh, gassed on in the Beauty and the Beast live action film. It's their return to the West End. But do you know who I'm more excited for? It's Pen Penelope Wilton. Do you know why? Because she was in Doctor Who. She is Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister. Icon legend the moment. She was also the mother in Shaun of the Dead, and that's one of my favourite films. I love that. Uh, it's a new comedy about the Queen Mother. It's going to the Duke of York Theatre from the 27th of October to the 27th of January. We also have Private Lives, which will be opening in the West End, starring Nigel Havers and Patricia Hodge. Uh, this is a transfer of the Theatre Royal Bath production. It's also the second production of Private Lives we've had in the West End this year. And this will be running uh, for a 12 week run from the 31st of August to the 25th of November in the newly renovated Ambassador's Theatre. And finally, it's been announced that Fantastically Great Women Who Changed the World will be going on a second UK tour. Very exciting. I haven't seen this musical yet. I was really hoping they'd announce something very soon that they'd be coming back so I can finally see it. But this musical will be playing in Wimbledon, Salford, Cardiff, Milton Keynes, Coventry, Chichester, Newcastle and Leeds. Very exciting. Oh, I missed one story. This is what happens. And also we have a new musical that's been playing at the Fringe, uh, Police Cops the Musical which will be transferring to the large as part of the Southwark Playhouse Borough for a limited run from the 8th of September to the 14th of October. Oh, that's your theatre news. Did you like it? What was your favourite story? What are you most excited for? Are you excited to see these people in these shows? I hope you are too. Yes. More videos. They're on screen right now. Wow, look at that. You know what? We're going we're gonna to do it like this. Wow, click the videos. Isn't this slay? Click them right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, everything. Okay, bye. <laughs>